Whoa, background change! Sorry, I had to do it because I'm filming later than normal and the lighting over here just isn't doing me any favors. <laughs> so I've been trying to broaden my horizons with the kind of YouTubers I watched recently and I've been trying to find more smaller YouTubers that aren't as well known in the YouTube community and maybe have around a thousand subscribers or less. In doing that, I stumbled upon the small YouTubers tag and I've seen a lot of these videos and I actually really liked it. So I figured I'd do that because I'm by all means a small YouTuber, so let's get started. What inspired you to start making videos? I've actually made a full video on the subject, so I'll leave a link to it in the down bar or you can click right here. But pretty much, I've been making YouTube videos for a very long time, but I didn't start making videos on this channel until a little over a year ago actually, and it was YouTubers like Sprinkle of Glitter, Dan and Phil, and Emma Blackery that inspired me. And if you want to know why, just like I said, go to that video and you can get a more in-depth answer. <laughs> How long have you been on YouTube and have you had any other channels? That was also answered in that video, so you can still click here, I can still click the link in the down bar. Um, but I've been on YouTube for... How many years is that? I think I said it was like seven in my other video. Um, and I've had a total of, I believe, five channels. Wow. <laughs> All of which still have videos on them, uh, but they're quite old and don't try and find them. Don't, don't find them. They're, they're not that good. Rude. This is the problem with living on a busy road. Where do you see yourself and your YouTube channel in five years? If there's one question I hate, it's this question. Because I don't know what I'm doing next week, let alone five years from now. If you told me five years ago I'd be where I am right now, I wouldn't believe you. I really wouldn't. So predicting the future is so bizarre for me, especially since so many things are changing for me within the next year that I couldn't tell you. But I hope at least that I'm happy and I'm still doing this YouTube thing. I do not see me quitting anytime soon. And hopefully I'm building up a bigger audience and there's more of you guys to share my videos with because I love making videos and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. What messages are you trying to get across with your videos? I wouldn't say I have one specific message for all my videos. Each videos are kind of their own thing. Most of my videos are just me expressing my thoughts or me being a little more creative or giving my reactions. And I guess, I don't know what my channel is. I guess I'm just trying to get across that it's okay to be yourself and it's okay to laugh at yourself because God knows I have horrendous things on this channel that I definitely regret making, but they're still there. Over the past couple months especially, my channel has been more love yourself and it's okay to laugh and do what you want. And I like that. And it was when I started doing like Vita where I really started liking the content I was putting out, even if it was just this random thing that probably shouldn't be on the internet but it is anyway. Just love yourself and love what you do and if you're happy then that's all that really matters. Do people from your school find your channel? Considering I don't know that many people at my university, I don't know about here, but I know from high school there are probably a handful, I think, that know about my videos. I'm not sure if they watch them regularly. I know a couple of my like close friends do, but other than that, I don't know. It's not like I post my videos on Facebook or anything. Actually, I'm never on Facebook, but I do post a lot of my stuff on Twitter, and I do have a handful of people from school on my Twitter, but not very many at all, so if they found them, it's through Twitter probably. But hey, you can watch as long as I don't know you watch, because that's it becomes weird when someone you know watches your videos. It's, it's, it's weird. I don't like it. I just realized how long my hair looks. <laughs> Whoa. When I cut it, it was like here, wasn't it? Did it grow that much that quickly? Oh my god. <laughs> what does your username mean? My current username is Imagine Workshop, and honestly, I created this channel probably, oh, like five years ago, something like that, I believe. I don't know, I'll have to check. But it's, oh gosh. <laughs> it was one of those things where I hated my previous usernames, and I was starting fresh, and I wanted a new name I would like for a very long time. And I wanted something that I could turn into a production company name in the future because I want a job in film and TV. So Imagine Workshop sounded creative to me. It's like, oh, imagination, imagine. I like this. I'm going to use this name and it could be a production company name in the future. So Imagine Workshop was born. Who are your favorite small YouTubers? Like I said, I've recently started getting into small YouTubers, so I don't really have that many. And I do have a couple here, but 
they're not necessarily considered small. Well, they are. They're by no means millions of subscribers, but I quite like them. So, yeah. Amanda's Chronicles, that girl is so funny. I love her. Please check her out. Leslie found her grail, I believe is how you pronounce that. She's also very funny and I love her personality. Her videos are all amazing. I like Allison as a very, very funny YouTuber. Check her out. Kezia Rose Newson, I believe is how you pronounce her name. She's also a very lovely girl, completely gorgeous by the way, all these girls are gorgeous. And she just makes me think with her videos and I, oh, another wonderful YouTuber who needs to make more videos, make more videos. And I'm definitely going to butcher this name, but Pimbalami, Pimbalami, I just said that, I, this, this, <laughs> she makes me think. And I like that about her videos. I really like her. Good job, girl. Keep it up. Yeah, that's just a couple. It was definitely more. But those are the ones that came to the top of my head. This tag was created by Katie Faithful. So if you haven't checked her out, she's another really good small YouTuber that I am subscribed to. I'll leave a link in the down bar. Go check her out. Also, if you're a small YouTuber, please do this tag. I think it's a great tag. And it's a way for me to find small YouTubers. If you do do it, let me know. And I'll watch them. Just let me know. Tweet me or something. Comment. I'll find it and watch it. But anyway, that's it. Hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure to give it a like if you like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!